Hello and welcome to Homespun Handcrafts Button Bowl. This month we'll be taking some glue and some buttons and turning them into a solid bowl. Now for the materials you need for this craft. First off, you're going to need a bunch of assorted buttons. You're also going to need some craft glue. What I have right there is not enough. You're going to need a foam brush, a balloon, and you're also going to need a container to prop your balloon up in. I used a little glass jar. It wasn't the best idea because the glue kind of spills and gets stuck onto the jar. So use something that is kind of disposable and you don't really care about a lot. Now the first thing you're going to do is blow up your balloon. The size that you blow the balloon up to is going to determine how big your bowl is. I probably blew it up a little bit bigger than it needed to be for what we're doing, so use your judgment on that. I then prop it up in the jar so that it has a place to stand while I'm putting on glue. And then I take the glue and the foam brush and just slop on a huge layer of glue. Um, so I do it all around the top of the balloon and about halfway down the sides. Um, I apologize for the way the balloon is positioned here. I position the camera better for the other parts of this tutorial. So I slopped on this layer of glue and then let it dry for about three hours before I put on the next layer. So as you can see, the glue has dried and it's now a solid layer. So the next thing we're going to do is add on the buttons. First off, you're going to take the brush and put on another layer of glue. So just go ahead and slap it on again. Now you're going to take the buttons and you're going to place them on top. The glue is going to hold them in place. So you're just going to add the buttons one at a time, going all the way around. Um, it can be a little tricky to get them stay at times. Um, just kind of push them up and together whenever you need to. Once you have all the button plates, what you're going to want to do is add another layer of glue around the top. So you're going to put in a lot of glue so that it's really heavy and filling in all the cracks. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting it on. Um, I'm gonna get up in the middle because I realized I didn't have enough glue. So I want to get a little bit more. So what you're going to do after that is let it sit for at least a day. So that will allow the glue dry and get really solid. So now what you're going to do after the glue is dried for a day is add another layer of glue. And again, you're going to allow this layer of glue to dry for a day. We're now going to add one last layer of glue and allow it to dry for a day again. Now it's time for the final step. What you're going to do is puncture the balloon. I just use a scissor to cut off the top of the balloon and it's going to shrivel in on itself and peel off of the glue. I then went around the sides of the balloons and broke off and cut off any of the pieces of glue that were sticking above the buttons. If there was a button that was a particularly far distance away from the other ones, I trimmed that button off as well. 
And there you have it, a completed button bowl.